guys. So I have a couple of worms that are locked up here. I don't know if they'll continue to be locked up under these bright lights. But um, I'm going to see if we can see the mystery behind how they are attached and how the um, process works. Because I know I have not seen it happen up super close. But I was hoping to see how that membrane works. You know, how did they how did they stay stuck together? And how is the cocoon created or what have you? So I mean, you can sort of see it there right in the middle. Okay, it looks like, I don't know if they freed themselves or what's happening here. But we'll keep, we'll keep watching because that one has that band over it. So, I'm just going to shut up here and let it play. I'm going to order some different color lights and see if, so much for me shutting up. I'm going to order some different color lights and maybe if I have red light, like in dark rooms or whatever, maybe they won't be bothered by it as much. Because I know that they find the bright lights annoying, possibly damaging. Um... So there is an area that they can get to that doesn't have the bright light. But at this point I'm just going to let it ride for the sake of science and all that. Yeah, he's choosing to go that direction because that is away from the bright light. Putting in a piece of dirt in the corner, give them some place to go to.
I think they're separated now, but the mucous membrane is still on that worm on the right. So I don't know if the worm on the left is the one that is going to have the cocoon. Um, the clotellum does seem to be more poofy than the one on the left, which I can't seem to illuminate very good here. I don't know, maybe they are equal, it's hard to tell. If you look along this one, these might be blue worms. Maybe they're, it's only noticeable when they're mating. The clotellum. Oh, or maybe they're, yeah, now that I see them stretching out, maybe they are the red worms or the tiger worms. Not seeing any evidence of the uh, mucous membrane now. Maybe when I get to see it on a bigger screen, maybe I can tell. Maybe that's it there on the the right hand worm. Yeah, heck it is. That actually makes sense. They say that the, the larger of the two worms are the, is the one that will maintain the part of the male in the reproduction and the smaller worm will use the more physiologically more expensive 
part of having the egg cocoon. So the one on the left does seem to be bigger. So that would make sense that the mucous membrane... Wow. Hey, the dryer's done. The one on the left... Probably... Yeah. Um, I would continue to film, but I, this is very uncomfortable for them. And I think I have maxed out how long I would like to bother them. Or... Whatever. Okay, well, this is Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and this is part of the microscope series. Um, worms and reproduction. Alright, thank you for hanging out with me and my worms, and give me a thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe if you want to see more things like this, and please make a comment on other things that you might want to see. Uh, with the microscope. Uh, I just got back from a, a business trip, so I've been a little bit behind with posting, but um, here you go. Okay. Have a good night.